Ah, oh, the luxuries that Senior Hobo Tom affords himself. Oh, this chair, it's not sinking. It's leatherish. Oh. oh, wait a second. Hola, for I am the one, the only. I am Hijo del Hobo El Vagabundo Dos. So you know what? Let's play my musical. Oh. Wow. Merry Christmas to everyone. Since I won't see you. Um, I don't know who's going to be here, but it won't be me. Uh, Feliz Navidad. See. Si. But instead, we have one of the most amazing single days of wrestling ever created. We have three shows. I know which one I'm going to watch. Bien, bien, bien. Uh, definitely not that show. But I am going to watch Triple Mania. In fact, I'm going to be in a competition with Doctores Tom. See, because for I have my Triple Mania predictions. And let's see here. This is the most amazing event of the year. Oh, let's see here. I'm going to pronounce, I'm going to mispronounce so many words. So let's see. So let's start off. We have our opening match. We have Maximo Misriguana and Nino Hamburguesa taking on Carta Brava Jr., Mocha Contra Jr. and Tito Santana. You know what? We have to see an amazing start to this. So therefore, the team of Maximo, Mr. Iguana. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, my dance. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! There we go, the Macarena. Cha-cha-cha. And Nina Hamburguesa shall win. Next we have... Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, I don't even know. Who's going to be... Yeah, okay, that's what I'll be, a snooze. So let's see here. Next match we have for the AAA Tag Team Belts. Because remember, this is Triple Mania! We have the Lucha Brothers of Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix taking on Mysticis Jr. and Octagon Jr. taking on Ray Scorpio y Tejano Jr. Oh, who's going to win? That would actually be pretty cool. Um, <laughs> this is going to be wrong. I'll say what I'm going to go with my heart, and I'm going to say the Lucha Brothers win. C C C. Um, let's see here. So stone. That's my Stone Cold Lock. Um. Then we're going to have the women's match. Um. We have Fabi Apache taking on. Chica Tormento taking on Lady Marviale, taking on Lady Shiva, taking on La Reda. I can roll my R's better than most Puerto Ricans can. Um, taking on Hades. You know what? Only because okay, this is <laughs> the last time they had a match like this. I think it was Chica Tormenta was carted off. She's obviously not going to win. Oh, Lady Shock, too. I'm going to say Fabi Apache wins. C, C, C. Then, oh, I'll tell you what. 
Oh, I'm so torn in this. You know what? This is going to be... No, it's not that. Wow, the next three are rough. Hmm. I can go... You know what? This is going to be my match of the night. Because we have Monster Clown taking on Murder... Um, I'm sorry, Monster Clown, Murder Clown, and Psycho Clown taking on Blue Demon Jr., Ijo de la Park, or La Park, and L.A. Park. Oh, you know who has to win. The Clown Family wins. Again, that's my match of the night. Match of the night. Then we have Arena E. Leyenda Americana. <laughs> this is going to be a pain to make. Taking on Terror Propara e Banova. This is probably when I'm going to be sobering up a little bit. This is my snooze. Only because, even though I am a true luch luchador, I hail from the greatest country in the world, America. C, C, C. So, anyone who has America in their name, I'm going to say Arena y Lienda Americano. Those two win. I don't know who they are. Then we have Kenny Omega Jr. Or Kenny Omega, I'm sorry. Not Kenny Omega Jr. Oh, I'm so in the lucha mood. So everyone's either a dose, a trace, or a junior. Um, so Kenny Omega is going to take on the Laredo Kid. I have the Laredo Kid winning. He's bringing the AAA Mega Championship back to AAA. And this is my stone cold lock and then finally we have Pagano versus Chessman in the Cabelas versus Cabelas match now without showing my true face because that would be very bad and I'd be banned in all of Lucha as you can tell yes my cabelas is no more. So I did not expose myself. So therefore, I am still a true luchador. But yes, I would never have a mask versus mash mask. Yes, I need this mask. It's mine. Um, Pagano wins. And the cabelas versus cabela mash. This is going to be messy. It's probably going to be a bloody... Yes, C, C, C. Those are my predictions for Triple Mania. Again, um, I, and now <laughs> my so-called opponent, because we're going to go head to head. So I'm making a scorecard. Iho, Del Hobo, L. Vagabundo, Vagabundo, Dos, we're going to see who's going to win more matches, and I shall even sign this paper, Seer, just to make it official, Yeehaw, 
Tell Hobo. L. Faga. Bundo. For I've signed it. It is now official. So we have Iho Del Hobo El Vagabundo taking on Dr. Tom. See, so let's see what. Oh, 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 Is this going to work? Is this going to work? I don't know, it might. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Most delicious. Mm. Beverage piece, a true glass of ambrosia. Oh, this fine amber color. Amazing what you can do. And you are civilized. And the taste, oh, the nectar, as if the milk flowing from the ample bosom of Aphrodite herself. Uh, but I shall partake of that later. For I'm the one, the only, the most noteworthy. Most noble, Dr. Tom. So, unlike that ruffian, play my symphony. Yes. And again, I'm here to talk a little bit about some professional wrestling. It's time to address impact wrestling. A very bold move, the arrival of one Kenny Omega, but he won't be here for he's off with those ruffians and scruffy commoners and triple A. Yeah, but now I'm here to talk about Impact Wrestling and Final Resolution, which I will not be partaking of, or I'll be endeavored in more scholarly. Activities. So let's commence this prediction and so called competition with that ruffian, uh, Iho del Vagabundo el Hobo. Ah, doesn't even have a proper civilized name nor title. Let's see here. So I'm not too sure about the order of these matches. But let's continue. So we have Hernandez is going to take on Falaba with a special guest referee. Oh, what is that hobo? A special guest referee of Tasha Steeles. Indeed. We shall see definitely what happens in this match. For I believe a more noble person. Balaba shall win. So I shall take, I shall put my mark upon that. Then we have Eddie Edwards and his wife, Alicia Edwards, taking on Neil Dashwood and Caleb with a K. For that's like saying Dr. Tom with a D. Absurd. So Eddie Edwards and his wife shall be victorious and they shall celebrate intimately later on that night. Eric Young, that world class psychopath, takes on the man beast himself, Rhino. Ooh, Eric Young is on such a tear. Eric Young shall win. And then, a uh, little bit of a filler match. For I shall be in respite during this match. And for those uncivilized people, 
means I shall take a nap, or I shall snooze during this match. For it is Havoc and Nivea taking on the Sea Stars. Sea Stars are talent, but... Uh, Havoc and Nivea are going to win. The Norahit Raju. Again, the Desi Hitman himself takes on a mystery opponent, one of which we have no idea of. I say, Rohit Raju loses. Always go with the question mark. Mongrovian? Question mark? Who knows? Then we have the machine gunner himself, Carl Anderson, taking on Ethan Page. Remember the stipulation of Ethan Page is victorious. They get their title shot. Whenever Luke Gallows gets healthy, Ethan Page wins. They're going to get that title shot back. Diana Prato, the virtuoso, a woman definitely on my level. Not my equal, but one I would freely wish to associate with and discuss the finer qualities Again, a good amber ale, hints of bourbon, definitely classy, excellent aroma. <sighs> Refreshing. Diana Parazzo shall retain the Naco Championship against Rosemary, and this is my Stone Cold Lock. Then we have Chris Bay taking on Rich Swan. <sighs> so many predictions and projections one can make. This match, a prime projection would be a rich swan wins and has to face some moose. On the other hand, if Chris Bay wins, Chris Bay will have to face moose. Hmm. I shall project rich swan retains his belt, but this. Is my match of the night. And then somewhere in this card, the only reason this was written down because the filthy hobo has no sense of chronological time or sensical placement of events. Larry D versus Tommy Dreamer to determine his innocence or guilt in a kangaroo court trial mockery of the judicial system here of the United States. Larry D wins. He'll be exonerated from the crimes of shooting one Johnny Bravo. Settled in a wrestling ring. Why not in a court of law? Like, civil human beings. So, Larry D wins. I shall fix my signature to this. And if I had a glove, I would toss it in the general direction of that... Eho del Hobo El Vagabundo, some numero uno. I, I, I'm trying for I to fix my signature to it. As you can tell right there, much more 
civilized and that ruffians scratch. But most importantly, I'd like to thank everyone for watching again this fine, enlightening YouTube channel. Enlightening. This show might be enlightening. Or this particular show might be enlightening. This YouTube channel, though. Some of the content posted, even though entertaining, is obviously for the plebeian masses. 